the dignity of the soldier. You know, because a soldier, a sailor, an airman is ever willing to fight and die for the nation. There is no doubt, period. He will always and every time he will do it. And they let there be no doubt in that, anybody's mind on that. But what motivates him? What and how does he do it? It's a question of Izzat, Kabliyat, Bharosa. This is something which we talk of. He does it for the honor, the honor of his regiment, the honor of his country, for the honor of the Nishan or the flag. Kabliyat means competence. Unless he is good at his job, he is skillful, he can fire his weapon, he can run fast, he can do whatever job. If he is a combat engineer, he should do that f properly. If he is a special forces guy, he should do that. He should know his job, he should be Kabil. And third is Bharosa. Bharosa sabse pehle khud par. Self-confidence. भरोसा अपने हथियार पर, भरोसा अपने साथी पर, जो आपका बड़ी है, भरोसा अपने ओदेदार पर, और सबसे ज़्यादा भरोका भरोसा ऊपर वाले पर, क्योंकि उसके बगैर कुछ नहीं होगा और यही चीज़ है इज्जत काबलियत और भरोसा जिस पर फौज चलती है। हम बोलते हैं नाम नमक निशान और ये चीज जो है फौज को जब वो अपनी सर्विस में होता है तभी नहीं मैं आपको एक उदाहरण देता हूँ एक नायक कुल श्रेष्ठ बहादुर गोरखा राइफल्स का रिटायर हो गया और अपने यूनिट से वापस जा रहा है देहरादून ईस्ट से तकरीबन वेस्ट बंगाल और बिहार के उस इलाके में सम डेकोइट्स गेट ऑन टू द ट्रेन एंड दे स्टार्ट कलेक्टिंग वैल्यूबल्स एंड ही सेड आई हैव नॉट रिटायर्ड आई डोंट नॉट टू डू वेरी मच ही आल्सो टेक्स आउट हिज वॉलेट एंड सेज यार जो भी थोड़ा बहुत पैसा ले लो बट व्हाई गेट इन्वॉल्व बट देन टू थ्री मिनट्स लेटर ही फाइंड्स दैट दिस डेकोइट स्टार्ट मिस बिहेविंग with a young girl who is sitting opposite him. And that's the time it gets his goat and he takes out his kukri which he always carries and he catches hold of this guy's throat. And sure of his, those fellows, uh, other decoits start coming and this chap slashes, the, to cut the long story short, in the next few minutes, there are three people who are dead, these decoys, there are seven, eight who are injured. He is badly injured himself, there is a lot of blood which is flowing. When the train stops at the next station, he is taken out, sent to a hospital. And then when he asked, what, what got into you? So what he says is, killing the enemy is my duty as a soldier. Protecting the woman is my duty as a citizen. So what I'm trying to say is that we work on these principles because, you know, there is very difficult to compare one with the other, that lifestyle or what is done. So should our citizens wait to honor are soldiers when they are dead, shouldn't they be honored and respected while they are in service? One, a mortal remains come, we know everybody pays respects, etc. But taking care of that family, those kind of organizations, these services within themselves have got a lot of ways to do it and they do it. 
because for us comradeship is still beyond life and to the next generation as well but i think you know as citizens why should we not and you know when a mortal remains of somebody is going i'll give you an example of say usa you see a sometimes there is a movie made on this when the hearse hearse is going and across the street and opposite and you can make out that this is going all the vehicles come to a stop because they know it is going if it is a dead body of a soldier is being carried in an aircraft the aircraft you know gives it respect before it gets off there are so many ways so i am just trying to say the dignity of a soldier because he does so much but this is one area with which um, we 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 could uh, you know keep that at the uh, back of our mind because that that i think is very important because when you look at the comparison between the corporate world and the businessmen and all these young guys like you all who are there you know you everybody has got targets and investments to make etc but the difference between that and the armies look out or of the way they think army also has targets but what is his target his target is victory his investment is training his outcome is a nation sleeping peacefully and what is his bonus a smile on the face of the citizen that is what the army is so i i think i wanted to just convey this uh, particular part and uh, you know the our a people are so good they take care but i think it's just that it should come as a natural uh, response or a natural reaction i have um, done with most of the issues which i had to do but if you will bear with me for just about a minute or a minute and a half i have a few lines which i have uh, written uh, as a poem which i'd like to put before you uh, hindi mein hai uh, ye ek sainik का तरीका है आपको मतलब कि शहरियों को आश्वासन दिलाने का ये चंद एक पंक्तियां शीर्षक है सरहद पर सेना बैठी है सरहद पर सेना बैठी है मैं कल भी था मैं आज भी हूं फिर गम में डूबे शहरी क्यों बेचैन न हो मायूस न बन सरहद पर सेना बैठी है मासूम की जाने ले लेकर आतंकी सीना तानते हैं लाचार हैं वो दुश्वार हैं वो सदबुद्धि कहीं गवा बैठे जिस पर गोली बरसाते हैं वो भी अल्लाह की नेमत है फर्क सिर्फ बस इतना है वो जन्मे घर पड़ोस में है जब जब दुश्मन ललकारा है तब तब उसको पछाड़ा है जब जब दुश्मन ललकारा है तब तब उसको पछाड़ा है घर आंख उठाकर वो देखे उसे नए मुक्त करा देंगे उसे नए मुक्त करा देंगे ये सेना हिंदुस्तान की है चाहत केवल बलिदान की है तुम सो सको सुखचैन के संग जिम्मा संभाले सैनिक हम रात तनिक लंबी तो क्या रात तनिक लंबी तो क्या सुबह अभी आती होगी बेचैन ना हो मायूस ना बन सरहद पर सेना बैठी है सरहद पर सेना बैठी है जय हिंद